All right, bro, quick disclaimer before getting into this post scoring vid. This gameplay is gonna be shot in this stage because ever since the 2K update, my game has been chopping like crazy and theater is basically unplayable. As far as competition goes, this dude was a straight bum, but it's still gonna be viable as far as live examples go. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna remember when going into your post scoring bag, you wanna take what they give you, bro. This is a extremely overlooked thing that most post scorer actually are guilty of bro if someone's giving you the fade just take the fade bro and early game this is gonna be especially true because a lot of players just don't expect post scoring at all or any type of mid-range scoring for that matter so if you can take what they give you you're gonna be scoring from some free buckets early on if you can time your shots see this dude is still giving me the deep mid-range area so i'm definitely gonna get my fades my hop shots there are free shots if you can time them so definitely take what the defense gives you and as you can see right away he starts stepping up to me after three fades he kind of realized man i've got to guard this dude so here we're gonna come down low and hit him with the drop step let's break this down on this play he's not giving me anything per se so we're gonna have to reach deeper into the bag now when you're backing someone down like this when you know you're gonna hit them with a move whether it's a drop step or a post spin i'm talking like a move to change the scenery of what's happening you want to be selling a side or the other to facilitate the actual move so i'm gonna backing down and be a little bit biased towards the left so he's gonna have to adjust his positioning to my, to my right shoulder this is gonna make my left shoulder drop step a whole lot more efficient and you're gonna see this throughout this vid you really want to be thinking about this because if you just back someone down straight and try to hit him with a move either left or right it's not just it's just not gonna be as efficient and that's something most post scorers don't want to hear because it takes a little more thinking while you're doing so but make sure y'all be biased in the side that's your backing down your defender. You're gonna see what happens when I get my drop steps. See how he's just like way left on my right shoulder. He's just out of position on this one. And this is just gonna be what you need to get a more efficient drop step. I just went up straight after it with confidence. I know I knew for a fact this dude wasn't super strong nor had a lot of interior defense. So I've got the confidence now to go straight up with this close shot. And at this point, it's just timing. This dude is late jumping, late contest. It is basically worthless. All right, next play, we're gonna hit him with the fake and spin on him. Now you're gonna see me do a whole lot of these shoulder fakes. These are extremely underrated, bro. I can't emphasize this enough. You wanna add these into your game. They are absolute game changers, bro. Post scoring is a whole lot physics based. And when you can throw in shoulder fakes like this, this is gonna change the collision between the two player models. It is gonna be game changing for your moves, bro. Look at this dude's positioning. He's basically got his arm on my back. And let me just hit him with a quick shoulder fake and see what happens i created a whole lot of space between our models and this is gonna make my post spin way more efficient bro and the top post scorers won't try to explain this to you but y'all know i want y'all to be better i'm just being real with you now that space has been created my post spin is gonna eat him alive and even though he doesn't have strength he doesn't have interior defense this post spin is just way more efficient if you can create some type some type of distortion be between you and your guy's defense and this is what shoulder face or changing dribbling hands is gonna do for you now on this play i do change dribbling hand i'm not even gonna be capping on this type of video that timing was just pure luck he reached at the same time that i kind of got into post stance this was just good looking but it was pure luck so i tried finishing as, as soon as possible to keep the clip but i end up scrambling we end up getting positioning now 12 to 2 we're just torching this dude obviously as you can see but it's still gonna be enough for me to get my message out there you want to mix things up bro as you can see this positioning i just hit him with a quick shoulder fake that didn't do a whole lot but he's probably expecting me to go back inside whether it's by backing him down or spinning and trying to swimming around him i just hit him with an inside move the last three three possession i believe you want to real you really want to mix things up and that's gonna be make or break as a post scorer if you're predictable you're basically dead in the water so right there i hit him with something i haven't pulled out yet which is the post hop shot and look at this dude bro he doesn't even have a hand up and there's no contesting me this is just no reaction to this if you're expecting an inside shot and it's gonna be wide open if you can mix things up in your arsenal bro it is just the truth and that's green 
and we're gonna come right back into the post and by the way that, that last tip that also goes for post scoring versus shot creating in general bro i want to mix things up in the grand scheme of things now let's let's see this next shot we're gonna hit him with a shoulder fake and as you saw bro we low broke him with that fake which is what the dream shake badge is gonna end up doing for you if you're lucky sometimes you're gonna be breaking your defender now on this particular play we get a subpar spin and we just go up right with the close shot because this dude doesn't have strength nor interior d like i said you want to be abusing these type of players bro these shots is the type of shots you can make consistently over dudes that overlook defense now on this next play i'm hitting him with the post hook i hadn't pulled that out in this game just yet so he's definitely not expecting this but there's something deeper to the shot bro and i really want y'all to understand this part i'm gonna change dribbling hand now what is this gonna do for this dude probably not a whole lot bro he's probably he's probably not even realizing what i did but this gonna open me to a whole new post hooking angle that was restricted to me when i was dribbling with my left so me changing so me quickly changing dribbling hand and getting into the post hook is just a quick little combo you can hit guys with that they won't expect. Because if they somewhat know the animations, you can just hit him with something like this to unlock a whole new array of moves while not taking too much time changing your position. So it's really something you want to consider. Look at the combo in full speed. It looks pretty good. There's, it's not something you would expect if you're defending this play. And this hook is wide open. Now we do have decent close shot on this build so it's something you can use and this whole vid i was talking about mixing the bag up at this point 18 points great post scoring what's left to do bro let's pull up from deep and hit this guy with a three it's just the perfect way to end this game now hopefully y'all did enjoy this video hopefully you learned something if you did make sure y'all drop a like sub up if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace